So, once again, the Sun newspaper have decided to come out and slate Newcastle United. It's just one of the many, many, many media outlets that have tried to just get at us since the Newcastle United takeover, of course. This time, they headline their back page with Geordie Poor, uh, basically insinuating that because we've taken a loan out, um, it, it makes us look like a poor football club. Even this has been done for years by many, many, many different football clubs across the world. Uh, basically, it's a loan taken out um, with review with regards to the revenue that we'll be getting coming in uh, in due course in the in the next couple of years to come. And of course, it frees up some money now to go out and spend. Um, now, does this mean that you know signings are imminent, as we like to say sometimes? I'm not sure. You know, we, we'll just have to wait and see on that. But you know, we, we know that Eddie Howe wants to bring in some players. Uh, we know where they need improving, and um, whether that happens in the next uh, days and weeks to come, I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't think you'll have anybody in by the time we play Atlanta tomorrow night or uh, Bilbao. Uh, but obviously, because we've taken out this loan, uh, rumours are very high that uh, signings are very much uh, in the short term, and uh, they'll be made before the Premier League season kicks off. Now, whether that happens or not, who knows? Uh, of course, we're still linked to a lot of players. We'll be talking about that on the transfer show tonight as well uh, and looking ahead to the two games. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, which will let you know when we go live uh, or we do a recording. Um, but shame on you, the Sun. I mean, they're not very well held in high regard anyway across the footballing world, certainly with the likes of Liverpool, etc., for what they did for them. And uh, the reporting on this is very, very poor. It's, it's a very poor piece of journalism, uh, but it's what you kind of come to expect now for Newcastle United and the media. You know, they, they'll just slate us for anything, even though this has been done for years across the footballing world. Uh, because it's us and because of our owners, uh, people think, oh, there you go, we'll have another dig at them. It's pathetic, really. But you know what? You know, when you look at it, uh, we have the richest owners in the world. We're not the richest club in the world because the finances of the club are very, very different to the owners. So, but we have money there. And certainly, the, you know, the money has been spread evenly across the whole board at the minute when Newcastle United obviously bringing in new staff, training ground, uh, the improvements to the stadium, etc. So shame on you, the son. Really, really poor piece of uh, journalism there. Um, now... Newcastle United's away shirt has uh, popped up at last, and uh, Castoria gave us a teaser yesterday. Um, not so much of a teaser for many Newcastle United fans because of, obviously we've already seen it. Uh, it's been for sale on various uh, uh, international websites for quite some time now. Um, but listen, the blue and yellow one for me is a lovely shirt, and I'm looking forward to it, um, to seeing what it you know, the final product, even though we've probably seen it anyway. Uh, but that goes on sale from tomorrow, which coincides with the Atalanta friendly. Uh, probably a very good time to release it, actually. Uh, obviously, there'll be a 50 uh, odd thousand there tomorrow night, and again, 50 odd thousand on Saturday. So um, there'll be a lot of uh, fans going to the club shop and purchasing this shirt. Uh, certainly, I'll be purchasing it in the club shop rather than waiting uh, months and months online. Uh, it's really put me off buying anything online from the club store at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it, it looks nice, and uh, I think it'll be a very, very popular shirt with a lot of fans. Uh, obviously, we know that the uh, the green and white one is. Uh, beautiful shirt, uh, very, very well uh, good fitting, actually, compared to the home shirt. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing that come out tomorrow as well. Um, now, the Chronicle report, reporting, sorry, that... Uh, Duvan Zapata, who of course plays for Atalanta, uh, will be in action tomorrow night or will play some part in the game tomorrow night. But they're calling an audition for Newcastle United. Now, we know that Zapata has been linked with us many, many times over the summer, to be honest, uh, many times. But um, there's been no concrete talks or anything like that, or certainly not reported anyway. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes, of course. Um, now, if it is an audition for him, we shall see. We shall really see. Um, if he comes on and scores a few goals, obviously the Newcastle United fans will be like, right, let's go and get him. Let's go and get him. Uh, it all depends how much his, uh, his valuation is, of course. 31-year-old, so you know, probably in his prime at the minute, uh, at least for a couple more years. Uh, certainly would do a job for Newcastle United, and we certainly need a player in that position. Let's be honest. Um, you know, Chris Wood didn't exactly uh, excel again against Benfica. Neither did Callum Wilson, to be honest. And Callum Wilson hasn't hit the ground running yet. 
Um, but hopefully he'll uh, he'll be ready for the Premier League season. But we do need somebody to come in um, and, and cover that position just in case of injuries because we know that Chris Wood isn't the backup and isn't the guy that we need. So the Chronicle think that it's an audition for Zapata. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it an audition for him or... Would you rather turn to somebody else? Um, now, Eddie Howe has also praised youngster uh, Matty Bonswell for his performance in, uh, at the Stadium of Light in the second half against Benfica. Uh, it was quite a surprise to see him come on. Uh, of course, he changed the whole 11 at half time, and, and Bonswell was the left back um, and really caught the eye. Uh, I have to say, when I was doing the watch along, I thought he was fantastic. He played really, really well um, and linked up very well down the left hand side. Uh, so, you know. Is he going to get a chance in the in the first team squad this season? Who knows? But of course, he doesn't need to be in the initial 25 because uh, he's, he's under 23 and uh, he can be pulled in any time. So for me, it was fantastic experience for Bonswell. And the fact that he did so well will alert again Eddie Howe that we've got players coming through who are worth giving a shot. Um, Elliot Anderson, of course, started the game. Was a little bit quiet, but did okay. Certainly, you know, didn't... Um, didn't embarrass himself or anything like that. He, he had a decent game, and I think Eddie Howe wants to keep him around. He's already stated he doesn't want him to out on loan, so he's obviously got a, an idea that Elliot Anderson is going to play a part next season. And, you know, when we've got players like Bonswell coming through, look, there's some good youngsters now coming through, and I think Eddie Howe is... Um, is pleased with that and, and the work we're going to be doing on the academy as well things can only be getting better so very very well done to matty bonswell um now interesting comments from former wales international dean saunders yesterday claiming that um midfielder aaron ramsey should make a move to newcastle um in order to further his career now aaron ramsey was linked with us of course in january but then decided to go to rangers uh where it ended up being a very very disappointing loan spell for him um injuries happened and he just didn't get going in scotland uh so for me uh, i'm not sure about this one to be honest um he's not linked with us officially by any media outlets it was just dean saunders comments yesterday which i found uh, very very interesting um as I say, huge wages as well. You know, th this guy was on 400 grand a week at Juventus. So there's no way he's going to get anywhere near those kind of wages coming back to the Premier League because his form simply isn't good enough. Uh, so it surprised me a little bit that Dean Saunders thinks that Newcastle United could be his destination because, yeah, he would be a, a good signing, um, but his injury record's pretty poor. Um, and I just don't think he's up to scratch at the minute. You know, there's better players available. And to be honest... Have we got better players already in the midfield than Aaron Ramsey? Uh, because I believe we have. Uh, but again, let me know in the comments below what you think about Aaron Ramsey. Uh, and finally, Northeast journalist Chris Woff has um, basically come out and said that uh, one of the goalkeepers, he is certain, will leave Newcastle United this summer. Now, obviously, the two that uh, are prime candidates for that are going to be uh, Carl Darlow or Martin Dubravka. Uh, I think Gillespie is pretty safe, uh, certainly for the third-choice goalkeeper. He's happy doing that job. Um, you know, it's the club he supports. Uh, and, you know, as I say, he's very, very happy in that role. Uh, so the number two keeper is, is up for grabs, really, because I think Nick Pope, as I said, all along this summer, I think he will start the season as number one. Um, so Dubravka or Darlow, who's it going to be? Um, for me, Carl Darlow, he was linked with uh, Middlesbrough earlier on in the summer, but that interest has cooled off. Doesn't seem to be happening anymore. And as for Dubravka, he's not going to be happy playing number two, I don't think. So it's very interesting to see who might go because everybody thought it would be Darlow, uh, you know, earlier on in the summer. But now uh, Dubravka, of course, who missed the Benfica game because of injury again, um, has that basically signed his transfer off? You know, is Eddie Howe not going to be happy with the transfer status of, of Dubravka? We know he's prone to injury. Um, and is he going to go with Pope and Darlow next season? Uh, let me know what you think. Who should be the goalkeeper to leave? Should it be Darlow or should it be Dubravka? Because they're both won first team football. They're both at a time in their career now where I think that they, that they need to move on um, if they're not going to get first team football. They'll want first team football at another club. 
But who will it be? Let me know. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, just the latest news coming through. Uh, if you're watching this on the Thursday, do join us tonight at 8pm for the transfer show. And we'll also be previewing the games between Atalanta and, of course, Bilbao, uh, which are coming up on uh, tomorrow night and Saturday afternoon. So really looking forward to those games. Uh, we will try and bring you watch-alongs, of course, if they are being screened. Billy will be doing the commentary on those games. And I'll be bringing you some match day vlogs. So uh, really looking forward to this weekend. Um, but if you're new to the channel, as usual, please do hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And also the uh, notification bell, which will let you know when we upload or we go live. And, uh, of course, you can become a member of the Tune Review hitting the join button just underneath this video. And uh, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can even when we're off air now. Uh, there's a thanks button just along from the like button underneath the video if you want to donate to the channel that way. Thank you very much if you do. Uh, but if you have liked the video, again, hit that like button as it does tell YouTube that something good is happening on this channel. But thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tonight for the transfer show. Enjoy your day, guys. Take care.